Hey guys, I'm Mac One on One, and today I have another um, sort of unboxing video. I ended up um, getting these after um, Operation Iron Cloud, which was this past weekend. Um, I have I like my belt system now pretty decently, um, but I don't really like the belt all that much. I got this belt. This is a fly battle belt. Um, I think I got this thing off eBay or um, off Facebook for like $25 shipped. Um, but it's really wide as you can tell and it's really wide here. Um, and it's not, it's a, the, the buckle's not that good. Um, I have, to, I had to um, put holes, I had to solder holes through the fabric and then tie them um, because they kept coming untied. Um, and I really, um, I have just had it for a little while. I wanted a little bit more Molly real estate as well on the sides. Um, and what I got uh, definitely will help with that. I think I'm going to leave pretty much the same setup. I may end up running like an IFAC pouch, uh, pouch back um, to the side of my dump pouch instead of this admin pouch. Um, right now I just use it for a pistol mag and then if I want to throw um, a tornado grenade in this um, thing right there I will. Um, and then I'll tie a little bit of paracord um, around the pin if I, if I absolutely need it. Um, but I ended up switching to a Pantac battle belt. Um, this is a lot lighter. It's a lot better material. It's multi-cam, so it'll run better with my JPC. Um, and it has more Rolled Molly real estate. Um, and it's more, um, it's more fit to um, run. You can see how there's a little sort of a slit right there. It's more fit to run the fast mag pouches. Um, as far as individually, this gives them a little bit more space than that one does. And then a little bit more flexible. Um, but I've heard the belts in these aren't that good, um, and I really wanted something that was really solid. So I also went um, with the Cobra belt. This is the Pantac Duty belt, um, but it's got the, the Australian Alpine Cobra um, buckle, which basically just means um, that it's got this, um, this buckle system right here. And then it's also much more rigid than the stock belt. Um, so because of the rigidity, I am able to um, draw quicker um, if I want to do my fast mags rather than have it flop around like I said right now. Um, it's kind of loose um, and flimsy, um, but I'm really interested to see how much better um, it will be with this. Um, I haven't sized it or anything until the um, stickers are still on. Um, but this will just... Uh, I've seen a lot of guys, I know Spears Milsim run um, belts sort of like this. A lot of uh, more Milsim players are going to these um, this belt system. I really like how easy it is just to take off and on. Um, you can see the belts are just like the, the buckle is very, very nice. Um, the Velcro on here helps it stay without me having to do any sort of modification. Um, I will size this um, to how I like um, soon. I'm going to take this belt out first. Um, and then see sort of how I like it and then we'll figure it out and then I will do I still have to do um, my um, loadout video for Operation Ironclad it is my first AMS event so I really want to do um, a loadout video for that because I think it's important um, and then I will transfer everything all over to here and hopefully for uh, Faded Giant which is the next uh, AMS event I hope that I'm going to be able to go to I will, I will run that I also got this is something a little. This is a, a Pantac Molly uh, Universal Radio Pouch. This is the smaller of the two. They have an embedded one too, which is just absolutely ginormous, and I have no use for that. So I got this one to store my bow thing radio. Um, <laughs> many of you know I lost my. I, ended up, I had my radio in here, um, and it was very very sturdy. And it was in great. Um, there was no way it was going to be able to move. And then my uh, Magpul MS2 sling ended up wrapping around this and pulled it straight out of um, my uh, vest. So I got a lot of crap from that from my teammates um, about how messed up it is. So I'm gonna run it in here. Um, I haven't decided how, I'm probably gonna have to loop it. Um, the pouch will fit pretty fine. The radio, I may put some some car cardboard um, in the back just to sort of make it more rigid and not move as much because it seems a little loose right now. Um, probably tighten this a little bit, maybe wrap it around once. Wrap around the antenna the good way. Um, so I can't lose it. I'm probably going to get a code red headset and just run it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to put it right there. Um, it shouldn't interfere too ma bad with my fast mags, and then I'm also able to access it really quickly if I want to change channels or if I want to just talk and send something here. I've also thought about getting a speaker, which I'll just run up through here um, into there. I have not figured out exactly what I want. Um, as I've still been, I've just been doing a lot of research, and um, one of the guys on my team has a code red headset, and he really likes it, but it's expensive. Um, but it's also um, had its quirks, but apparently his radio um, plug isn't working very well, the, the Kenwood adapter. So it's not, it's not the headset that's fine. Um, he just figured that out. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this.
as you listen to the Bao Fang lady talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just a, it's been a quick unboxing of some new gear um, that'll just help me uh, be more high speed operator. Um, might just it's been it's just time to change. Um, I'll probably still run like I said I'll probably still run the same belt system um, as far as pouches wise go, but I may change up that that IFAC pouch so I can carry some more things. Um, I have enough mags on here and with the taco that I added on left side. The taco I added right there just as an extra mag. Hey, or if I want to throw a Thunder V or a tornado in there, I can, which is why I love taco pouches. So I'll see you guys later.